go, Rick. Yo, oh, wait, we should watch party something at some point. Like yeah, a show? Yeah. That'd be hype. Party planning aside, here we go on the, uh... Yeah. No, it's just just some winner's quarterfinals action. Like we we get this every tournament. Just casual, just casual. Two of the best Taiwanese players on. Yeah, this yeah. is how it goes. Um, Jason showing. Jason just doing Jason things, you know. Three point seven PPS, and that's it's like the Jason way. That's easy. That's easy. Three point seven. That's like, yeah, I'm just cruising. Yeah. I literally need to for be breakfast. An, ex an extremely efficient player here. Yeah. See those timings? That's gonna be a huge part of a uh, Yida's play in the set. Like Yida really, yeah. really needs to concentrate on on doing stuff like like getting Jason into this position where he's gonna die if he. Oh, never mind. Just five PPS burst. Okay. <laughs> Still one time, you know. Yeah. And, uh, Yo, this is there's... looking like a W for Yida though. Some yeah, cute some... spikes coming out. Some PPS just very nice. Out. Looking good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next match, and uh, we got a PC. No, PC from Yida and TKI from, from Jason. I feel like Yida probably shouldn't do a PC against Jason. He he had an out though, so like it worked out. But yeah, he he almost got counter spikes. It was it was definitely scary. Ooh, it's it's these transition moments here where they're exchanging spikes back to back and I just don't think this back and forth is really beneficial to Yida. Uh, it, yeah, uh, this does look like a game for Jason, but also kind of hard to compete with 198 p.m. Like, that's a pretty big number. So oh, Modest Tomato back in the day in his prime. <laughs> yeah, back, <laughs> only OGs remember like only OGs remember 208 p.m. Modest. Yeah, man, and now you know. I just, I just go easy on everyone else now. You know, it's like true. <laughs> real, real wise Zen master here from. Uh, from you know, I, I learned that there's more to the game than victory, and you know, I think that's beautiful. Right. But you know, out here looking like he's gunning for a victory. Going up two one. You know, Master Roshi. Yeah, we got here. Fred. Yo, we just. I mean, you're not even. You just like I'm not. I'm not in a rush. I'm not gonna do place all these pieces. Ooh, that aerial, aerial in the sky. Yo, shout out, shout out to some of it down. <laughs> just throwing out a quick aerial right there, or a STMB cave. Huh? STMB cave is such a terrible name. Who who called it STMB cave? It's what does that even mean? Name. What does that I, even just mean? Just call it a floating, dude. Floating teaspoon. That's what we changed it to because we everyone else realized STMB Cave is a stupid like, name. Like, what is that? Is that like a rap group? Like, what the hell is STMB? Should Super I look Ninja? it up? Should I look it up? Because like, I have no idea what it stands for. Yo, can we get a definition real quick in the chat? Watch that be like a, a dumb player. Like, true. Yeah, like, <laughs> famous player STMB Cave. Yeah, I mean, there's a dude called Hachi Spin. You never know. Okay. Is there? There's there's nothing on the hard drop wiki about what it's called, what it they stands just, for. All of a sudden, you know, like, come on, blink. Know, anthropologists call themselves like they want to understand the origins of human culture, and and you know, you know one one day just humans woke up and they're like, yeah, this is S T M B Cave, yeah. and that's it. Yo, my favorite part was back in the day when uh, all the cavemen were vibing in the STMB cave. <laughs> like, that's so sick. And they're like, oh, back you can. the Stone Age. <gasps> you can put here. Yeah. <laughs> ooh, 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 they named ooh. it after the cave. <laughs> Speaking about a cave, uh, a huge multiplier is going to leave Gita caved in. He's gonna cave into the pressure, dude. That's crazy. Yeah. And he's not. He's gonna get out. Nice curse. And my internet uh, cut out. Oh, I'm back. Let's go. Shout out to uh, Wyoming. Where are we at? Yeah. Ooh. It's rough out here at Arby's. Uh... <laughs> For Arby's, Arby's Wi Fi. Arby's Wi Fi, yeah. <laughs> 
Oh Ooh. yeah, this is looking like a big game for Jason though. Big four three. A lot closer to the to the killer, uh, Jason, than the than uh, Jason Zimmerman, who's the sweetest person probably out there. Better music game. Yeah, he's he's pretty sick. Ooh. And he also has some like suspicious cheating scandals. I don't know. I don't know about. Either way, you know, popped off yeah. right there. Keeping, gonna, a, keeping a positive just for a say that. second. Just gonna say that. Nice spike from Ida. That was actually insane. Dude, yeah. well, you know what I think is really cool about some players is that some of them don't like. They don't have the consistent crazy speed that Jason does, and some of them don't pop off super hard or whatever. But like a lot of those just rely on their brain, and True. like sometimes. Players like Gita or like QMK will just pull out a fat spike, and it's always so sick. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. And Gita up in the set? Would you have predicted this? We're gonna, we're gonna get a little dubsky here. It was kind of weird that somebody did might have uh, predicted that uh, Gita might be Jason. Remember that? No. Oh. Hmm. I don't know. Wait, who'd you put it first seed again? That's crazy. Right, right. Yeah, like, <laughs> bro. Like, but I did say someone like Ida or Yoshida could, you know, sneak into the win. Okay, bro. Just name every player. Right. In the tournament. I don't know. You know, Firestorm, QMK, uh, who else we got? Circulation, any of them could win. Yeah, bro. You know, if you say all the names, yeah, yeah. you can't be wrong. <laughs> it's true, dude. It's true. You can't be wrong if you say all the names. Jeez. All I'm saying is I think the seeding speaks for itself. Bro. Right. <laughs> True, and right now, ooh, playing 40 lines, man. Can we get a 40 lines estimation? No, no, no. We Can we can't. get a? Ooh, ooh. We get a vibe ooh. check on. That was a big boy. <laughs> that was a big boy spike right there. Damn. That's crazy. That's crazy. We have five five here. Nerves start to kick in. I don't think Jason's really that type to cave under pressure. I'm not sure about Yida though, but That's Jason true. be chilling. He's he whenever Jason is under pressure, he's just Jason's he's like, yeah, I have I've been here before. Like I've seen this. I think Yida is a tournament champion, so uh he'd probably know how to play under pressure a little bit. Ooh, well let's see. Well looks like just Jason Type may seven come up in the chat. Up. Just type Yida typing seven. Seven for who though? That's the real question. That is the real question. Yo, nice PC find. Yo. All I right. He just really did a gray system delayed, but okay. No, I I no. thought look I thought that timing was gonna pop off and then it didn't because oh, yeah. I lagged. So I just thought for some reason Jason died and then I like it come back came back and he was just fine. Yeah, talk you remember about it. when someone when someone predicted that Yido would win? Yeah, that's crazy. That's, <laughs> that's crazy. You remember that? Yeah, yeah. I remember when somebody seeded Jason as number one? That's interesting. <laughs> that's so All right, bro. All right, bro. <laughs>